Okay guys, I'm actually a bit worried. Today's topic is gonna be a little bit touchy and very sentimental. We are going to talk about death. I think the the whole experience itself was, um, I don't know, it was painful but it was enriching. Mm. Upon realizing all this and how much he worked for the family, mm. I, I made a promise to myself that once I have my own vehicle, I promise to visit him a lot. Because mm. I did not have this quality time with him before. I understand. And uh, I know you recently lost someone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of us. Yeah, so all of yeah. us. We were Everyone. there. We were there when you suddenly vanished on us. Yeah. Then we went there. Then downstairs the block, my mom messaged our family chat and said like, um, Nene has passed. Quiet one <laughs> of today. I grandma's was a very very sensitive mm -hmm. topic for me. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Not a lot of people, especially my sisters, know mm -hmm. about the my family. Basically, they have that only Farah knows actually. Mm -hmm. So, um, I have a grandma, and it's actually my dad's grandma, and um, your dad's grandma. Your dad might prepare the tissue first. Cause yeah, I don't know. No, I won't cry. I won't cry. I won't cry. No, just yeah. confirm won't cry. I just eat. So it's a good. lie. So okay. my my it's my dad's mum, yeah. So I'm not gonna cry. Okay. No one is saying anything. It's okay to cry. It's no, fine. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it lose water fluid in your body. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but um, grandma's always a sensitive topic to me because um, she's actually my dad's mum, and my dad only has one other sibling. Okay. So in terms of the familyhood, in terms of the family bond, is actually very tight on my dad's side. Okay. And at the same time, my I'm very, very close with my grandma and also my aunt, which is my dad's sister. So, and they live together. My dad's sister and my grandma live together. Why I say I'm very close with her is because um, my family used to be, when they were young, when I was younger, I they were very, very busy because um, they were running a business and they don't really have a lot of time to take care of me so I was mm. actually um, raised by my aunt literally raised from the, from a baby all the way till I was 7 years old before I had to start school mm. even after that also I would actually um, every weekend I would actually sleep over my aunt's house even till now actually so that's how close I am with her with my, my aunt and my grandma mm. so um, I have a very special bond with her since young lah, because I was raised by her mm. and not saying anything about my mom but my aunt and my grandma were my mother figures at a point of time maybe even till now honestly bloody said because I was raised by them yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean but I still love my mom lah, no matter what mm. so um, like I said we had we shared a very special bond and you know when you grow older you tend to stray away from family because you start to realize reality you start to realize life and you realize you know friends and shit so yeah. i was actually drifting away i was trying to uh, growing out of that you know the bird flying out of the nest i can fly <laughs> <laughs> so, <coughs> so ostrich is a bird right yeah, yeah. Oh shit, Sheila. Okay. Hippo is a bird. Don't wanna finish the word. <laughs> yeah, so um so when I was sec three, uh fifteen years old, when I was fifteen years old, um you know fifteen years old from sec one, sec two, then when you start fifty you start to get legit because of O levels. Yeah. Mm. And you get into those like specific courses, the humanities course, the science course. So that's when I decided to like wake up from this fantasy of study. I mean, I've always loved studies, but I really focused and buckled down on my studies. So I actually sort of drifted apart. Not really drifted apart, but more of like my priorities sort of changed. Mm, mm. Yeah, and I was focusing more a lot more on school and actually um, band. I was in CCA in band, so mm. I had a love for band. So, <clears throat> like I said, me and my grandma were f close. Mm. Sorry, um, we're very very close and. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. When when uh, I was when I was fifteen years old, I say about nine January, nine or eight January. Literally the first week of the new chapter of school. Mm. <clears throat> I was at Ben Prep. Um, I didn't feel anything. I didn't know what was going on. So I was just Ben Prep as per normal. And you know Ben Prep finished around like. Evening five six pm, mm -hmm. and then last time got handphone now. You can three three one zero, right? <gasps> um, 
So after finish band prep, I look at my phone. Nothing. Uh, uh, nothing. I uh, really nothing. But I only saw one missed call from my dad. Usually I don't bother one lah. <coughs> maybe because he mm. wanted to fetch me or ask where I was. Then I don't know. On that day, I decided to just mm. call him back and ask like, "Oh, um, where are you? Oh, I just finished band prep, going home." And then he said, "Oh, um, hey, that's that." I'm like. First thing I asked was like, huh? When did she pass? Oh, in the afternoon, around 1 p.m. So whole gitu. I'm like, you didn't tell me. No lah, because you wanted you to focus on school. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Like, if she's on a deathbed, I know she's been unwell, you know? Mm-hmm. But I didn't know she was dying. Mm-hmm. You could have told me at least. I mean, f- school, you know? Mm-hmm. School, mm. really? It's like it's my f***ing grandma. You should have told me what. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the teacher won't care if I take MC or just skip school for one day because of the death of a family member, right? Yeah. Why didn't you f***ing tell me? You know. Mm. I'm so sorry for a lot of these vulgarities because as much as sad as I am, was actually equal to keep up with you f***ing angry lah. Mm. Like why didn't? Oh, because that's why I realized that like, because that's why I realized that like, my mom and my dad don't love my grandma like I do. Maybe that's why they didn't see the importance of telling it. Mm. You should have at least told me. You know. So I didn't cry. I didn't cry to be honest because I was so angry at my dad and my mom, which I should not be. I should be more concerned about her death. I did not. I just handled it very differently, I guess. So I didn't cry. I was just angry all the way. I just um, my dad fetched me from school, then on the way home, changed out. Then should go to the hospital to visit her. Um, I didn't cry all the way, but I still remember throughout the whole time I didn't spoke to anybody. I had my MP3 in my hand. It was an MP3, I think five point two MB. So there was this <gasps> song that was playing. I will not tell you what that song even till now because I plan to perform it one day. I was listening to it from school all the way to home, from home all the way to hospital. Throughout the whole time, I didn't talk to anybody. My dad was in the front seat with my sister and and my mom. So I didn't cry throughout the whole time because I was in a limbo, like nothing, mm-hmm. no, no angin, no reboot, tiba tiba dah. Yeah. Yeah. Like what the f is yeah? You know, mm. I didn't ask for any of this. You know, if there is, at least give me a sign. Mm. Then it's like, I think I see her body. Like I see my, it was so f-ing scary. It was the scene out of a horror movie. Because the moment I entered the ward, she was in the room. It was covered, the the, the curtain. Around mm. the bed, mm. you know the big typical one in the yeah, wall. Uh-huh. Then it was just me. I don't remember who was around me lah. Really, I don't remember, but I know some of my family members. I entered, then the nurse just, and I just saw that. I'm like, I've never seen a dead body, never, mm. never ever, never have I ever. <laughs> so. Mm. That's when I started crying. Even then, was, like, I, for those who know me, especially my sisters know me, I don't cry. But when I do cry, I'm a f***ing mess. Yeah. But I tend to not show any emotional side in terms of sadness. Yeah, I show all types of emotions except sadness. All my sisters can watch me for that. I don't. I really don't. Because I'm not the type of person. Because, <sighs> um, throughout my whole life, people keep calling me gumbang. She's crybaby. So, I don't usually cry. I tend to hold back tears and everything. So, when I saw my grandma on the, on, on the hospital bed, that's why I started crying. But even then, also, I stopped crying after like two minutes. Call me heartless. It is true. But that's just how I was raised. Um, that's just how I reacted to it. Um, fast forward to the Mandi Mayat, which is uh, bringing back of the body to the house to bathe her, to prepare her for a burial. Mm. Uh, that's when it got really worse because um, that's when I saw my aunt who I deeply care for who has been my pillar of support has been my rock has always been the one been there for me she's the only one that actually really take care of me really love me unconditionally and I can literally talk to her about everything and then that's the first time I saw her sad I think that's when it's like it tipped me lah it tipped me worse because to see her sad like that, then I'm just like, 
cannot lah. I don't want to see like this. I really cannot see her like this. Because she... And I don't know how to console her. Mm. Because she's not always consoling me. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> So as a child, I mean, who's a child who's growing up and trying to be a man in the family, like, how, how, what do I do? Mm. Like, he just, like, hug her. And then we just continue crying together in, like, you know, I think... <sighs> oh, my God, I cannot... Okay. <sighs> Where's the fun <laughs> yeah. oh. Seeing my aunt sad actually made me feel worse about it. Made me fully realize how how real that moment is. Yeah, my grandma's not looking around. Okay, and that was also another part. Then when they were showering her, um, uh, cleaning the body mm-hmm. to prepare for the burial, that's when it got even more real when I saw her body wrapped up in the white cloth mm. in the yeah. kankapan. Yeah, it was scary. Yeah, yeah. Because in terms of horror movies no bitch <laughs> <laughs> yeah but I mean, like I said I, yeah. I cried my eyes I had to see my grandma in that yeah. also so that mm. was the biggest yeah so I understand when you say yeah. that it's like everything. then that's when we started the prayers mm-hmm. all the male of the family mm. had to start praying uh, I was crying because throughout the whole time as much as we're supposed to give respect I keep like keep looking at her you know I don't know. Like, part of me hopes that, that she's still not dead. Mm. It's like, it's very hard to believe that it's true. As much as we like prepare ourselves and know that life and death, yeah. death is part of life and life is part of death, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, you won't really, you can't mentally prepare yourself. As much as you can mentally prepare yourself, you won't know how you'll be light on that day itself. There's no preparing for it. Yeah. Right? yeah. As much as you can mentally prepare yourself, but when it happens, you don't know what you're going to go through. You're gonna, you don't mm. know how it's going to feel. Yeah. So then the last few moments I shared with her was that, okay, you know, the everybody take the bit of soil, put mm, it around, mm, 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 mm. and give her a kiss on the forehead. Yeah. Mm. And never let the teardrop on her. Yeah. I didn't. Because mm. I know I had to. I couldn't do that. To say in a very shallow term, I wish it did not happen. Hmm. I wish I didn't have to go through that. I wish life is not like that, lah. Yeah, but but what could you do? Yeah. So, um, my last few moments with my grandma hasn't wasn't the sweetest, lah, basically. Mm. Because, like I said, when I was um, when I was coming of age and going through puberty and realizing life. Mm. Um, throughout the whole time, my grandma used to stay with my aunt and I used to stay with my aunt once in a while every few other weeks. Um, towards her later years, she started staying with my dad. She's my family lah, mm-hmm. at my house. So, um, I was very childish lah. I was f***ing childish. Because my grandma has no other entertainment except the TV. And I'll fight with her the t- over the TV. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's stupid. It's f***ing stupid. <laughs> but our last conversation was actually over fighting over the TV. That's f***ed up with me, isn't it? Mm. We used to have a beautiful relationship and then when I started to grow older, our relationship sh- soured. So it's, it's, I took life for granted. I took her for granted like, eventually until she passed. I mean, if if it were me to give you the benefit of the doubt, it, it's one of the hardest periods of our life, especially in secondary school. <coughs> we rebel, we or we focus on school, we focus on friends. Or we just didn't know to be mature about certain yeah. things. Yeah, mm. like when I lost my grandma, I was way of age. So I know where to... When she was getting sick, I know how to um, balance with track, with friends, with family. Mm. Like now I only have Wednesdays But last time was way more than Wednesdays so It was almost every day So yeah If if that were to happen to me When I was in secondary school I, I probably would have the same story as you So don't blame yourself for that Because it's just us growing up mm. You know Correct. We don't know any better That's the thing lah Like as much What you said Is most of the things that we all know Or heard before At mm. this age when you put yourself at that point of time, you're yeah. like, why didn't you grow the f*** up? Yeah. 
You know? Yeah, like I said, like it's just childhood and yeah. things go by and stuff mm. like that. Yeah, but yeah. Um, honestly said, um, with whatever that's gone, what has happened, she, she still lives in my heart even till this day. I think about her every single day mm. right before I sleep. And whatever I do, whatever I think, whatever, is actually because of her. Mm. But it's just how... She stays in my heart forever. Of course. Yeah. Because I mean, the year she passed, <laughs> I studied so hard, I got first in class. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it has to end it that way. Yes, of <laughs> course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I just want to say thank you to Ariana, Anna, and Farah for sharing their stories. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to give a moment of silence for our dear loved ones. Okay, thank you. You can just pause the video. <laughs> we can just put an advertisement in here. I am, I am praying. Okay, sorry. All right. Last time Friday players, right? We yes. <laughs> Friday pre- Friday players. <laughs> Friday players. Sorry. From Friday players to Friday players. Yes. <laughs> last time balling, speaking, not balling. Speaking of players, <laughs> let's play a game. <laughs> what <laughs> game are we playing? We are going to play Guess Who Teacher Edition. The drawing edition. Drawing edition. So you're gonna draw first. How okay, Vera. How long do we have? You uh, have. Can we put 30 seconds on the clock? 30 seconds. 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 No lah, no, show, show us later Show, show us later, later. After, after 30 seconds 30 seconds 30 seconds, 30 seconds starts now Yes, cut, yes, cut While Dahlia is talking directly into the microphone Farah is drawing Yes Okay, okay, okay <laughs> okay, okay. See so the round face, then the beady. Okay. We saw the eyebrows. All right, <laughs> Ariana, it's open the turn. paper. Yes. Open Woo-hoo. the paper. Yeah, pen, pen. Then your thirty seconds will start. Okay. 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 Wait, wait, wait. I haven't opened yet. I haven't opened yet. Uh, yeah. Wait. I, when you give me a three to one, okay? Because okay, 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 okay. Read face. So Ariana is reading. Okay, so Ariana Grande's new album Positions is out now on Spotify, Apple Music, and everywhere. Thank you for listening to Spotify. No, really. Is it 30 seconds ready? Five. Alright. Okay. And. Huh? Boo. Huh? Is it Aiden Zane? <laughs> <laughs> Aiden Zane. Did, did Singaporean. Did I think a lot of Singaporeans are this. Puntiana. Puntiana. Jasu. Fatima Raka. Fatima Raka. So stay safe. Why you get the worst? It's Fatima Raka. 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 Okay, go, go, go. Okay, now the legit Singaporeans will come, okay? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Go. And timing. Thumbs up. Yeah. Four, three, three, two, two one. one. Okay. Ya Allah. Sangla utama. No, it's Sanglila Utama. Utama. It's Singapore in 1980s. Yeah. Oh, no. 1980s. Oh, <laughs> 1890. Okay. 1816. We're not talking about the invader. 1819. Okay. This is 1819. Okay, who's uh, Queen? I used to know lah. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. It's time. Right? I think okay, it's okay. time, right? It's timing lah, that time. 
Where there were still lions in Singapore. You met him? There were still tigers in Singapore. There were still tigers in Singapore. Ah, okay, lovely. Okay, go, timer. Ready? Okay, go. Done! Yusuf Isha! Yes! I Okay, okay, okay. Yusuf Go, okay, okay. Wait, why was you? Oh, okay. money! No, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Hey, okay. why you see first? The last. Okay, I'll tell Okay. And go. <laughs> 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 So while they're at it, please follow us on Instagram at official Okay, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hey, fellow Shamrock. Oh, what's this? I cannot see. It's Sam Nathan. Yes, you see. It's Fera. Hey! Not the thing before, is, it's not fair. She wrote the she word wrote president. The word president. He qualified again. Cheating again from the word president. He qualified again! Cheating again! Again! again. 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 Let's see for you this episode. Comment down, comment below. Okay, so don't forget to... Like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification button. Rest in peace. Period. Yeah. Oh.